Okay, I finally get to tell you about release seven. Now, this is the most powerful release in our history, and it's also the most creative. And we've been working on it for almost 18 months. Some of the features and the functions we're bringing to you have been real epic undertaking. Super excited. And of course, remembering the theme of today, the power of creativity and Seros's mission to help unlock that creativity, I wanna tell you about the four areas of focus for release seven. Naturally, it's gonna be more creative. It's also more efficient, more connected, and importantly, more accessible. So let me tell you how. Kicking off with object states. It's gonna make the platform way more creative and give you a lot more flexibility. But at the same time, it's also gonna make it much more efficient. And it unlocks infinite possibilities in terms of the creative output that you can create. And that all comes, as you can see here, through the control that you'll have over any objects on the canvas, its design elements, and importantly, the way it transitions between them. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it because it's gonna feel like we've added thousands of different permutations and opportunities for animations and interactions. And when you combine object states and the control of the design of each object with the ability to target that object, that opens up all kinds of functionality for things that may appear and feel more like games or interactive quizzes. It really is an interesting addition to the existing tools you have in your suite. And I wanna reiterate what I said earlier. The efficiency piece of this is huge. There are now gonna be things that would often take you one hour or four hours that are gonna turn into 10 minutes or five minutes. And that's not an exaggeration. Genuinely, there are operations and functions that you will go through that are gonna feel like you're in a different universe when you're using object states. I'm really excited to see how you guys leverage it because I, for one, can't put the thing down. Okay, next, masking. This one has been a long time coming and it gives you the functionality that you see on the tin. Now you can bring your images directly into the studio and not have to leave and return to Photoshop to add masks and shapes to contain those images. In addition to that down the line, in the next few releases, you're gonna see us unlock the potential of animation within those masks and for the animation of the masks themselves. And you can see here in a little sneak peek of that, it really does unlock some really interesting combinations and visual effects. Super cool. Okay, bring to front. This is a new type of interaction. Simply put, it gives you the ability to reach into the canvas, select an object, and immediately access where it is in the Z-axis in your layers panel. And that could be super helpful on simple things like image galleries, or as you see here, a map. It's really quite simple, but very, very helpful in some of those everyday tasks that you're doing. And of course, will probably spark some creative output. All right, now I wanna to touch on image control. Now we've been working on bringing more image control into the Sarah Studio for the last two years. And you'll have seen that come through in things like Remove Background, which leverages artificial intelligence to instantaneously at the click of a button, remove the background of any image. And as you can see here, it handles those tricky backgrounds and foregrounds really quite elegantly. It's a complex thing and we're super glad it's now in the studio. In addition to that, you've got cropping. Cropping's been a long time coming too, and actually a lot of folks are not even aware it's there, so I wanna highlight it again to make sure that you're able to use it because it does make you more efficient. And finally, I wanna highlight one more that we brought to you recently, and that's blending modes. Now, blending modes in isolation has been in Photoshop for many years, but in Seros, because of the multiple dimensions, you're able to combine them with animations to create really interesting and curious artistic effects. So that's blending modes, cropping, and of course, remove background. There's lots more coming down the line in the coming months, and I hope that the image control that we're bringing to you is helpful in everything you're doing on a daily basis. Okay, next up, personal favorite of mine, copy and paste, anything. Now you've been able to copy and paste between Seros experiences for years, but now, we're giving you the ability to reach into the desktop applications that you're using in your creative workflow and grab objects and simply Command C and Command V straight into the studio directly from desktop to cloud in a split second. And it works with Illustrator, Photoshop, PowerPoint, and even Keynote. It's literally changed the game for me. I can't use it enough, it's so helpful. So that's copy and paste. 
But connecting Seros to the rest of your creative ecosystem is an important part of our strategy going forward. So we didn't stop there. This next one is an industry first. Nobody else has done what we're about to show you. Introducing import. Yes, you can now import Illustrator, Photoshop, and even sketch files directly into the Seros Studio using just a simple drag and drop. And as you can see here, it's just a matter of seconds or minutes, and that file is turned into a Seros experience as if by magic. It is incredible. And as I say, it's a world first. The speed and efficiency that comes from this is tremendous for obvious reasons, and it gives you the chance to spend less time building and less time assembling so you can focus on the creative output. So that's Import, one of the coolest things we've done in years. I love it. I also want to just say a quick thank you to our friends over at Avocode that made that possible. They've been tremendously good partners and we've really enjoyed working with them and we really couldn't have got it there as quick as we have without their help. All right, next up, access control and accessibility. Now we like to think of these two things together, but really they're focused in two main areas. Access control is about giving you and your teams the ability to create roles and give those roles permissions. And that's going to mean you can bring more people from your organization into the Seros workflow so they can collaborate and work with you. So think of it through the lens of giving an individual user just the right to preview an experience rather than access it. Or for example, giving someone in your organization just the limited control to see the analytics in the platform. It's a very, very cool part of our strategy to improve the enterprise nature of the platform as we expand into bigger organizations. On that note, we know that accessibility and making Seros content accessible to as many people as possible is a very important priority for a lot of enterprises. With this release, we are massively enhancing the control you have over those very things. And what that means is control over things like defining the content hierarchy in non-visual ways. It also means the advanced tagging of visual and interactive elements. It's a really important part. In addition, it makes your Seros content accessible to screen readers. And as a bonus, the work that we've been doing on this front has major benefits from an SEO point of view. So for those of you that are out there wondering if we're gonna make advancements in that area, you get that for free with all the work we've been doing around accessibility. It's a real win-win. So that's really seven. I'm personally super excited about it, and I know I speak on behalf of the whole of Seros when I say that we're all excited to see what you create with it. Release 7 is so efficient and it's very connected and also accessible and it's definitely creative. Oh yeah, and very, very powerful. In fact, Seros is the world's only design platform that converts Photoshop, Illustrator, and Sketch files to web-ready HTML5 in seconds. It's just that easy. So fast. Be inspired. Get educated. Feel empowered. You know you want it. Can't say I blame you. Seros Release 7. Available now. Before we move on, one more thing that I want to cover. I want to take a second to just talk about our most recent product launch, Markup. Now, Markup is an entirely free tool, and it's Saros's latest move in terms of collaboration and workflow. Here to tell you more about it is Alex. Hey, everyone. Now, for those of you that may not know, Markup is a visual feedback tool that was built by Saros. So that means whether you're working on a brand new Saros experience, a website for a client, or even a proof of concept, you can upload that creative into Markup and begin adding comments instantaneously. And now, by supporting Sarah's preview links, we've brought Markup and Sarah's even closer together. Working on Sarah's projects with Markup has enabled our customers to experience more connectivity and efficiency when it comes to creating and reviewing digital content. For seamless collaboration, you can now take any Sarah's preview link and add it directly into Markup. And best of all, the real-time engine in Seros also works in Markup, so changes can be seen instantly between both platforms. Additionally, our new screenshot functionality makes it even easier for teams to comment on and review digital content. 
These screenshots also make it incredibly simple for you to see exactly what has changed your Sarah's experience over time. I cannot stress this one enough. Guest access to markup projects makes it easy for everyone in the creative process to contribute. Whether you are on the sales, marketing, product team, it doesn't matter. Anyone across your organization can access a markup project in seconds. Finally, we're excited to announce that markup users can now upload and manage files within their projects. That is super helpful for sharing files when you're working remotely. That means fonts, images, videos, you name it. Storage is unlimited, and best of all, it is still completely free to use.